Emily was a curious and demure teenage girl living in the suburb of River Creek. One day walking on her way back from school she noticed a garage sale at one of the houses. She decided to browse around and see if there were any items she would be interested in. She noticed an old mirror leaning against the wall. Remembering she needed a large mirror in her bedroom she decided to take a closer look. Once she saw her reflection in the mirror, she immediately became captivated. The mirror, with its ornate frame and glint in its glass, had her seemingly mesmerized for a moment. Emily knew she had to have it for herself. After agreeing on a price with the seller, the mirror was purchased and on its way home with Emily. Emily, consumed by an insatiable desire for perfection, would spend hours gazing into the mirror. Each glance reflected not just her physical appearance but seemed to amplify her insecurities. The mirror became a silent accomplice to her obsession with looks, drawing her into an increasingly eerie ritual. As the days passed, Emily's appearance in the mirror began to change subtly. What was once a charming reflection now twisted into a grotesque distortion, revealing unseen flaws and imperfections that only she could see. Despite the mounting horror, Emily couldn't tear herself away. The mirror had cast an insidious spell, and its malevolent whispers convinced her that perfection lay just beyond her reach. Late one night Emily stood before the mirror, attempting to rectify the distorted image before her. In the glass, shadows danced with malevolent glee, and the room grew colder as an otherworldly presence seized control. The reflection morphed into a ghastly specter, a macabre parody of beauty that mocked Emily's desperate attempts. Terrified, Emily tried to step back, but an invisible force held her in place. The haunted mirror seemed to feed on her obsession, distorting her appearance further with every futile attempt to fix herself. As the room echoed with spectral whispers, Emily's reflection twisted into a nightmarish caricature, a grotesque reflection of her once beautiful self. By morning, the mirror returned to its seemingly innocuous state. Emily, now a mere shell of her former self, was found in front of the mirror by her mother lifeless, misshapen, and drained of all fluids. As if her corpse had been there for centuries. The antique mirror, once again reflecting the world with deceptive charm, waited patiently for its next victim, its gaze forever haunting.